So let's move on. Let's go into this. This is very interesting now. You know, America has its share of flashy, flamboyant preachers. This ain't nothing new. All right. The French, y'all got one out there in Brooklyn right now. Bishop Lamore Whitehead. Call me the bling bling bishop. Do you know this guy? No, I don't. You ever met him? I don't even know him. You ever heard of him? Yeah, I heard of him. I just don't right. know him. So uh, the first time I ever heard of Bishop Lamore Whitehead was when he got robbed on Facebook Live at his pulpit during a sermon. Remember that? Do you remember that? Yo. Yo. All right, right, right. All right, right. I seen three to four men come in. I said, all right, all right, right. It's pretty much stating that I don't want, I'm not going to do anything, right? Because I know y'all coming for me. Yes. Yeah. They robbed this boy of a million dollars in jewels. So this is what makes headlines. First of all, it's a pastor wearing a million dollars in jewels. Bruh, okay. They come in and rob him on face uh, on uh on Facebook Live, and then it turns out he getting sued by one of his parishioners, 56-year-old Pauline Anderson. Right? He told her he was gonna help her buy a house. She ended up giving him 90000 he skipped with the money. She had to sue him, right? And so now he in like federal court, he tried to extort a businessman. He tried to bully a businessman into giving him like $5,000 or something like that. Um, but this dude is like, yo, the Fendi, the Gucci, on, the, co the colorful clothes. You know? He fly. Yeah, but. He's driving was, a Bentley. You're supposed to be like. Bro, you're supposed to be a pastor, right? Right. Where you getting Bentley money from? Where you getting Bentley money from is exactly right. Where you getting Bentley money from? Fuck out of here. Who is the congregation that's propping this man up? Who are the people that's sitting in his pulpit listening to his sermons while he wearing an outfit that costs more than your house? Who are these people? More than your rent for a year. Who are these people, right? And then he get he he drives a Bentley, right? I seen him do a lot of videos sitting in his Bentley. When he got robbed on Facebook Live, French, it couldn't have been more than twenty five people in the congregation when this happened. How are you riding a Bentley? It's only twenty five people in the congregation on a Sunday. The math ain't mathing. Ain't mathing. The math ain't mathing. Where is he getting this bread from? Right. And he said he cool with listen, maybe he not cool with him, but they didn't took a lot of pictures together, a couple of videos. Fat Joe. He always tagging Fat Joe when he when he crusading against all the haters, he'd be like just out of nowhere at Fat Joe. I'm like, what? You, right. And Fat Joe had been in a couple of videos where he didn't say, yeah, that's my man. He is cool with Eric Adams, the mayor of NYC. Uncle Murder makes a year in wrap up song. Shout the skills. I think people still think skills. skills. I think I think skills people still think skills is better with the year in wrap up. Okay. But Uncle Murder doing his thing. All right. I haven't heard the last one, but apparently he dropped Bishop Lamar, Lamar Whitehead's name. And niggas ran up in the church like it's a stick up. There was only eight people in there when they robbed the bishop. When I heard about it, real talk, I bust out laughing. God don't like ugly, that's why he let that shit happen. He was out here scamming people in the name of God. Fans came and locked him up. I knew he was a fraud. And then Lamore Whitehead has something to say about it. I said, I said, Dad, you was rough on the bishop, man. You was rough on the bishop. So, you know, let's let's get in the ring, man. Let's get in the ring. Let's get in the ring. I, I, I. I ain't like that rapper, man. I ain't like what you said about me, man. Tell 50 put the bag up for you, man. I got my own bag, right? Tell 50 put the bag up for you. So Lamore Whitehead wants to box Uncle Murder. <laughs> he said, let's get this. He said, let's get these hands. <clears throat> Dude, this is a different type of pastor, bro. We reached out to Bishop Lamore Whitehead for comment. We have not heard back. I just want to say that. And that's real. I actually reached out for comment from that guy, and he did not get back to me. Yeah. So, um, and you don't know nothing about this guy up in Brooklyn doing his thing. Who, the pastor? Yeah. I know about him. You know what I'm okay. saying? I don't, I don't follow that bullshit. Like, anybody that go to his church can't be, you know, his whole, his whole congregation, dumb as a bag of hammers. Do you think it's okay for um, a pastor, let's say he wasn't, charged with scamming people 
Generally speaking, do you think it's, it's okay for a pastor to be that fly, to drive those kind of vehicles, to preach pros prosperity gospel? You could do what you want, but you got to have receipts. Where you get money for a Bentley? If it came from the pulpit, from from the from the what do you call that shit? Tides? Yeah. Hell no. Hell yeah. no. That's not what tides is for. Not to lace your pocket. Do you mess with the I, church? No. I don't either. Listen, bro. Let's not even get into this religion shit. Oh yeah, let's get into it. All, oh, all, yeah. all, that's, gonna, all that's gonna do is cause a lot of butt hurt people. They're gonna have to be butt hurt. Because cats gotta practice what they preach. What about this dude Joe Osteen, right down there in Dallas when the thing happened and they had some kind of natural disaster? I think it was Dallas or Houston. He didn't open up his church for those people that needed shelter during that emergency. He ended up opening it up later after public pressure. But like you, you, you hear people talk a certain way mm -hmm. about what their belief system is. And when it's time to enact that belief system, when it's time to manifest that belief Something system. Else. It's something else. Completely something else. And how are you, as a pastor, able to afford thousands and thousands of thousands of dollars worth of clothes, gifts for your family, a Bentley, big mini mansion? I've seen this house. It's big. When you are supposed to be charged with helping the less fortunate in your own congregation, if they're not really helping, they're not putting money back in the pocket of the people that's propping up that church, they're not offering help to the community, hope to the community, Building back up the community. They say that the, the, the cornerstone of the black community is the black church. So then where is the black church when the black community is being destroyed all around it? But yet, you ain't out in the street. You're not, you're not knocking on doors. Right? You're not. I, I met one, I think, in Alabama who does just that. That dude, he got a small little church, like a one-room schoolhouse. They're not getting no money. But he goes out in the street and grab up these young boys, like literally grab them up. And he bring them back into the church and he talked to them. And sometimes he say, you know, I, I had him for a few weeks. I had him for a couple months, then he was gone. But at least he tried. And he keep on trying. This dude, Lamar Whitehead, Lamar Whitehead, it'd be very interesting to see what happens with this guy. Um, I, I think he won a celebrity box, um, D.L. Hughley as well. He said D.L. Hughley brought him on the show and set him up and disrespected him. Now he want to fight D.L. Hughley. I want him to, obviously, I would like Lamar Whitehead to see this video and say that he wants to fight Mike Powers. Because I need the publicity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all, I'm all about the clout chaser, baby. So let's get it. What the fuck was popping is your boy Mike Powers? Oh my god.